Now we can start coding our first ever full stack Rust project. So this is going to be our ultimate resource where we're going to find out everything about the installation. And if you have any doubt about the contract we're going to write for our backend, you can simply come here and you can find every single thing about the data type, function, comment, flow, installation. That's all given here. So first thing we have to do is we have to install Rust in our system. I already have Rust in my system. so. I don't need to do that, but in case if you don't have Rust, I'll show you how you can do that as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder called Rust to do. That's the name I'm going to give to my project. Make sure to open this project in your VS Code. So click on this, click on open, come back to the desktop. And here I have the project, the folder which I have created, click on open. So this folder is open in our VS Codes. Now I'm going to simply Open up my terminal. If you don't know how to open, you can do in two way. You can press command or control and back tick. It's going to open or you can simply open with here as well. So click on this and click on this new terminal. It's going to open that as well. So we got our terminal. Now we have to clone the startup file. So before I clone the startup file, let me show you that I have Rust installed in my system. So you can come back to the browser and you can see here you will find every single thing which you have to know about the Rust programming language. So come back to the installation section and here you will find the instruction for installing Rust in your system. If you have Mac OS or Linux, you can simply run this command and you will install the Rust in your system. And if you have a window, you can simply click here and you can check their requirement that what are the things you need to fulfill to install Rust in your system if you have Windows system. But I don't have Windows, so I'm going to use this Mac installation. So make sure to check that. Now, first thing I have to do, I have to check my Rust version which I'm using. So if you come back here, this is the command you have to type. You can simply type or you can simply copy. If I come back and paste the command and hit enter, you will see that I'm using this particular version of Rust. But I'm going to uninstall and I'm going to reinstall Rust to show you that if you don't have, how you have to do it. So if I come back here, you will see here I have the command to uninstall Rust. So if I want to update to the latest version, I can simply run this particular command and it will update to the latest version. But I want to uninstall. So simply take this one, Rust setup, uninstall, copy that, come back here and hit enter. And it's going to ask you that whether you want to uninstall, are you sure about it? I'll say yes. So I'll say why and hit enter. And it's going to simply remove the entire Rust programming language, the setups from my system. So if I want to check the Rust version, you will see that I will don't have that. So this is the command I have to run to check the Rust version. So if I hit enter, you will see this particular command not exist in our program because we have uninstalled Rust. Now it's time to reinstall our Rust. So I'm going to simply clear my terminal. I'll come back here and I have to simply copy this entire piece of code. So I'll simply come back here and here I have the instruction for installation for Linux or OX. If you have window, you can simply click here and you can check the requirement which you have to fulfill to install Rust. It's a very simple process. So we can simply come back here. I'm going to simply grab this entire command, copy that one, come back and paste here. This is the entire command I have and I have to hit enter. And it's going to simply execute the command and I'm going to install the Rust. So you can see here we are downloading the installer so this process will take a look. and here it will ask you for your preference. So you want to install the default one, you can press one. If you want to do the customization, you can press two. Or if you want to cancel, you can simply press three. But I want to install the default one and I would suggest you to do that. So press one and hit enter. And here the installation process got started. And the best part of this Rust installation, it's come with a bunch of packages. It would also give you this cargo, which help you to initialize and design the architecture and the folder file structure of our Rust project. So this process takes a little bit of time, just wait. Once the installation will complete, then we're gonna simply start using Rust and create our project. So this process takes a little bit of time. It's quite heavy. We have a lot of installation need to be done. So like you can see 6 MB, 15, 22, 50. So there is a lot of packages that are dependent on one another. So this process might take a little bit of time depending on your inter internet speed. You can see I got these packages, cargo, supply, Rust doc, and here it's still going on. There is a lot of things we have. And finally, we have installed the entire Rust in our system. So everything looks pretty good. And here you will got this particular message. Rust is installed now. Great. I'm going to simply close this one because when you will do the installation of Rust for the very first time, the package is installed, but it's not initialized in the project. So you have to close your VS and you have to open the folder one more time. So now you are ready to use the 
Rust. So I'm going to select the folder. I'll click here. And now I can simply check for the command. So I'll simply go back, click here. I can go back to my previous commands to check the version. And you can see I'm using this particular Rust version. So if I want to check the cargo, which we're going to use for running our server. So I'll say cargo. And you will see we'll get bunch of this command. And these are the commands which are going to help us a lot when we're going to run our backend server. You have a couple of build command, check, clean, dog. That's all you will find. If you want to uninstall, you can simply uninstall this separately. And I want to check the cargo version which I'm using. So all you have to do is to simply check here. Here we have the command dash dash v, not a single dash. Okay, you have two dash. So simply type C A R G O dash dash V E R S I O N version. So this particular version we are using, which is the latest one. So this is how you can install Rust in your system. I hope the Rust is running fine in your system. Welcome back to your first ever Rust project. In this project, you're going to build your first Rust to-do application. So anybody can come and they can add their to-do list. So click on this add and it will be added. You can add as many to-do list as you want. So I want to add this. Let's add a couple of more quickly. And I will go with this one, add. And let's call hey and call gym life. So I have added these many to do list. If the task is completed, you can mark it complete and it will change the state in our backend server as well. You can mark it complete. If you want to delete any to do list, you can simply click on delete. It will delete. Or if you want to add more, you can click here and you can add more. If you want to do the editing in the to do list, you can do that. You can click on this edit and here you have to simply retype the task which you want to assign. So I'll say blockchain developer and click on this update and it's going to update our to-do list and you can simply click on mark if you want to do the filtration and find a specific to-do list you can simply search for it type gym and it's going to filter out the entire data you can simply go back to the normal all the list so every single thing is working absolutely fine and this is one of the projects which you have to include if you really want to build a strong portfolio if you do the responsive check of this application, it's 100% responsive for all the different screen sizes. So this is how it's going to look on the very small size. If you go back to little bigger, this is how it's going to look. If you go to a little bigger, this is how it's going to look. It's pretty good. In this project, you will learn that how you can build a backend server using Rust programming language. It will teach you every single thing about the data structure, 